Well, hey, friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. I'm out here with some of my buddies today. Uh, pigs, can you imagine us talking about pigs? Central North Carolina, we had that tropical storm come through yesterday, and now it's starting to cool off. It's starting to feel like late fall. Wind's picking up. It's real breezy out here this evening, but uh, that's not what I'm going to talk about. I want to talk a little bit about pigs and pasture pigs and the differences in raising pigs out on pasture versus raising them in a confinement feeding operation. And why we think this is better and why we think it's actually more profitable to raise pigs this way as opposed to in a confinement operation. But real quick, I've had a bunch of new subscribers over the past few weeks. We've hit almost 2,100 subscribers. Um, so leave me a comment down below where you're from. I'm always interested to hear where folks are from. I've talked to folks from Georgia, Texas, Minnesota, Oregon, um, I don't know where all, but anyway, it, that's, that's the fun part for me is the interaction with y'all. So leave me a comment down below uh, where you're from. And also, if you just found us, uh, hit that subscribe button. We talk about pigs and chickens and, turn that thing around. We talk about pigs and chickens and turkeys and sheep and tractors and working your property and all kinds of stuff. So um, that's just what we do here. So if, if you like these videos, hit subscribe, share them with some of your friends. But uh, hang around for a little while. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about pigs and why we think raising them out on pasture is so much better than raising them in a uh, confinement feeding operation. So stick around. So in the United States, about 97% of the pork products that we consume are raised in a CAFO or a confinement animal feeding operation. And that's a big deal here in North Carolina. There's a lot of those types of farms down the eastern part of the state. Basically what it is, it's, it's a big concrete and steel house where they keep somewhere between 1,500 and 3,000 of these pigs inside a confinement feeding operation. They basically live in this big house. They don't get any fresh air, don't get any sunshine. All the food that they get is provided for them through these big feeders, and it's a very specific ration. The industry has figured out how to raise those animals at maximum efficiency without taking into consideration anything about the pig itself. Those pigs don't get any fresh air, they don't get any sunshine, they live on concrete and slatted floors that allows their manure and their waste to go through which goes out into a big lagoon. I'm gonna post some pictures of that that I found on the internet. I'm gonna overlay some photos here of what that kind of operation looks like. But those animals live a horrible existence. They have problems with disease, they have problems with overcrowding, stress, and it's, it's just a terrible existence for those animals. I'm not mad at folks for raising animals that way. I know if you've grown up in that kind of environment and that was the way that your family made money and that's, the, that's kind of the, the hand that you were dealt, I certainly understand why folks stay in that business. But if you're thinking about getting into pigs and getting into farming, let's talk about pastured pigs and why that's a much better process for the animals, for you, and for your customers. Man, light's terrible, a lot of harsh light. So a couple of the main advantages to raising pigs out on pasture, the first three that I can think of is, number one, it allows the animals to till up the seed bank and to stir the land up. These pigs have been on this piece of land now for, I don't know, about seven days. They've come in, they've stirred it up, they've fluffed it up, <clears throat> and they've started to really kind of rejuvenate the soil. One thing that we found when we moved to this farm, um, on our upper field up there, it had been sown in soybeans, tobacco, winter wheat, and it basically was just a, a hard pack piece of ground, nothing was growing on it. We put the pigs on it and after the first year, them stirring it up, tilling it up, we started to see a whole lot of grass coming back. We didn't plant any seed, we didn't put down any fertilizer, we just let the pigs do the work. So the pigs are great at rejuvenating your land. If you put them into a forested area, they're fantastic at clearing out a lot of that underbrush. Got a little fussing going on over here. They're fantastic at clearing out that underbrush and opening up that forested floor so that you can start to build some silvo pasture. We've done some videos on that before and I'll post a link to those in the description down below. Also when you've got animals out on pasture like this, instead of having a manure problem, you've got a manure advantage. These pigs are fantastic about spreading their manure out over the, you know, over the course of this paddock here. So I don't have a concentrated problem with manure. Instead, man, instead of manure being a liability for us, manure then becomes an asset. So these pigs do the fertilizing for us and we don't have to deal with a lot of pig poo. So another added benefit for raising animals out on pasture like this is it's a much more natural habitat. Pigs traditionally were raised in the woods where they would root around for 
nuts and bugs and grubs and worms and different things that they could find to eat. So animal, these pigs need a space where they can get out and actually root around and dig around in the dirt. Um, it makes for a much happier animal. It reduces um, you know, a lot of disease processes because we move them off of their manure, we move them off of the space so they're not continually consuming uh, their parasites. So it makes for a much healthier animal too. It's much more humane. I mean, look at these pigs. They're just out here enjoying the day, out here kind of scratching around in the dirt. Got one over here, let me spin the camera around. Got one over here. I mean, he looks like he's taking a nap. I mean, these animals are just, they're, they're easy to deal with. They're not fussy, they're not stressed. I mean, it just makes a huge difference in the animal welfare and how happy they are. This kind of environment also creates a much better product in the end. Um, those animals that are in confinement feeding operations, they're basically in a small pen. I mean, they're, they're 20 animals in a space no bigger than your bedroom. So they don't get a lot of exercise, they don't get a lot of movement, and they're just stagnant all the time. These animals here, they're out on pasture, they're moving around, they're exercising, they're building up muscle fibers, they're distributing fat through the carcass. And in the end, it just makes for a much, much better product. We're gonna do a video um, I'm going to go to the store. I hate to even say this. I'm going to go to the store and buy some pork chops. And then I'm going to get a couple of our pork chops. And we're going to do a taste test. We're going to do a visual test. We're going to do a taste test. I know you can't taste it on YouTube. But anyway, we're going to do a test on the differences between what our pork chops look like and what a set of pork chops from the store looks like. Another advantage that we've got is that we've got a diversity of breeds. If you're raising pigs in a CAFO operation, you get whatever piglets that Smithfield decides you want to get. Out here, we can experiment with different breeds. We can raise a heritage breed animal. We can mix breeds. We can find a good combination that works well on our farm. Y'all remember Helen? Helen is a, full, is a purebred Berkshire. Uh, that pig that's standing right in front of her now, that's half Berkshire, half Duroc. This one over here, that pig is half Duroc, half... Um, it's a farm mix of just some Tamworth, some additional Duroc, some Yorkshire, some Hampshire. I don't know what all is in that pig, but it's got a lot of Duroc in it. But again, we can experiment with breeds. We can change up uh, what breeds we want to use by selecting a different um, seed stock from our AI supplier. So it makes a huge difference in giving us a lot of opportunity to diversify, change up the types of animals that we've got in terms of what breed we're raising and just makes for a, a lot more choices that we can go with. So there's a number of advantages from a business standpoint on your farm that I think are important to consider uh, and to think about as well. One is reduced cost. Um, raising pigs this way is really not a very expensive operation to get into. Um, I done a video on the cost to start a pasture pig operation. Uh, it's been one of my most popular videos, and as early on before I knew what I was even doing on YouTube, still don't. But anyway, reduce costs. This is not a very expensive way to raise animals. Um, if you've got a piece of land that you own or that you can lease, um, the cost to get started uh, in pastured pigs is really very nominal. Versus the CAFO way, uh, before you can ever get the first pig, you're going to have to build one of those confinement houses, and estimates are ranging anywhere between you know four and eight hundred thousand dollars to build one of those, and that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of capital outlay, a lot of debt that you have to incur before you ever get the first animal, and then you're locked into that system. Um, if I decide I don't want to raise pastured pigs anymore, I can sell the pigs, I can sell a couple of rolls of wire, um, and get basically my investment back in in no time because I don't have a, I really don't have a whole lot of capital outlay here on these animals. So cost and the cost to get started is a huge advantage to raising uh, pasture pigs. Um, another cost or another um, advantage to this is, honestly, this is a fairly low labor input um, way to raise animals. We move these pigs, uh, now that I've learned a better method to move, we move them about every seven to 10 days. Uh, they're due for a move, they've beat this up pretty heavy. Um, but we got a call from the processor, we're gonna be able to take a couple of them uh, to process and we'll do a video on that. But once we figured out an easier way to move, we've got the, uh, the new watering system set up. Pig chores are really 
daily, it, it's, there's just not much to it. We come down, we look at the pigs, we check them, count noses, make sure everybody's here, check fence, takes three minutes to do. So it's a fairly low labor input. It it's, just doesn't take a whole lot of our daily time. <clears throat> Another huge, huge advantage of raising pasture pigs is it's a quick turnaround on your money. It's a quick turnaround on your investment. Once you make your initial investment of your infrastructure, which again is a fairly low cost, if you buy piglets, um, you know, you can buy piglets for as cheap as 50 bucks or you can pay up to, you know, as much as you want to pay for piglets. And you've got to determine how that works in, in your context and how that works on your farm, what you want to pay. but. Pigs are a fairly quick return on investment. Um, the last set of pigs that we took to process in a couple weeks ago, those pigs were six months old. We were able to grow out a market ready pig in six months. Um, average weight on those three pigs was about 330 pounds a piece. We had a trailer load, the trailer load was just a little over, a little over, well we only had three on the trailer so it wasn't really a load. Three pigs on the trailer was a little over a thousand pounds so again those pigs were 333 pounds a piece in six months. That's a pretty quick turn on your money. Um, if you want to uh, uh, breed pigs, you know, you're going to have to do the breeding. For the gestation time, it's going to be another three months. So in six months, you can turn your money around. And typically, we'll, you know, we'll double what we have invested in these pigs. So I mean, it's, it's a quick turn on your money, and it's a fairly profitable return on your money. Another advantage of pastured pigs is the different business models that you can grow out of your pasture pig operation. Um, you can buy piglets, raise those piglets up, and sell them as holes and halves or retail cuts. Um, you can get into selling breeding stock, selling um, quality sows, quality boars for folks that are interested in, in breeding pigs. Selling feeders is another option. Um, raise those raise those piglets up, get them weaned, get them started, and then sell those animals as, as feeders for folks that want to feed a pig out, take it to processing and put some meat in their freezer. Or you can get, can get into selling piglets. Um, we're kind of exploring that a little bit right now. Um, doing a breeding operation where you're selling some good quality pastured piglets. Folks that are interested in getting into pastured pigs or, or, or do pastured pigs on their farm are always looking for good quality piglets. So that's another operation that you can get into is raising piglets for other farms and folks that are, that are needing a good source of pigs. So again, a lot of advantages to raising pastured pigs over CAFO pigs. Um, it's a good centerpiece enterprise if you're starting a farm or if you've got a farm. Uh, a good centerpiece enterprise, or it's a good add-on enterprise. Um, these pigs, you know, we can run them across this this pasture here, sow some uh, cover crop, and then bring the sheep back, and which is that's probably what we're going to end up doing. So, the pigs are good integrators in terms of adding to your farm if you're already doing something. Um, you know, I don't believe in putting all your eggs in one basket. Uh, I think that you need to uh, have a different have different operations, different enterprises going on your farm. So if something falls through, then you've got, you know, you've got additional options. Um, pigs, great animals. We really enjoyed them. Uh, we love having pigs around, and they're just, uh, they're just a, lot of fun to, a lot of fun to care for. So I'm going to post a link to a couple other videos, some other stuff we've got going on here. We love pigs. There's going to be some pig videos pops up over there, I guarantee you. So if you want to learn some more about pasture pigs, click on one of those, follow along with us, and uh, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.